Well, in that case, I'd have to use the between and operator. And this is how to do it. So in my order date field, again, I want to see the orders between September 1st and September 4th. So under order date, I'll go ahead and type in between. Now I typed it in all caps here so it's easier to read, but it's not case sensitive. And then I'll put in September 1st. So again, surrounded by hash marks, I'll put in September 1st of 2015. And then the keyword of and. So this is what's going to create a range for my dates. All right, now when I go and run this, I have two orders between September 1st and September 4th. All right, let me head on back again to design view. And you can also use functions inside of your criteria. So what if I wanted to see the most recent orders? What if I wanted to see all the orders that were placed in the last seven days? Well, I'll go ahead and get rid of that last criteria I put in. And this time I'm going to type in greater than and then the date function, which is the word date, followed by an open and a close parentheses, minus seven. I want to see all the orders from the past seven days. So I'll go ahead and run that. And there they are. All right, heading back to design view. I'll go ahead and get rid of that criteria. 